When it comes to retouching lips, three things need to be kept in mind. Shaping, coloring, and dodging and burning. And we're gonna cover all of them in this lip retouching tutorial. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download this photo and follow along, make sure to go ahead and check the links in the description. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to take care of the shape. The lip is completely out of shape as you can see in this example. So the first job is drawing the perfect shape for this particular lip. To do that, select the pen tool, the normal pen tool. I know the curvature pen tool is, tool is fancy, it's new, it looks good, but the normal pen tool gives you much more options and features which you might require for this particular job. All right, let's zoom in quite a bit and make a shape for this lip. If you wanna know in detail, in depth, how to use the pen tool, check out this video right there and I guarantee after watching this video, you will, if not master, know every feature the pen tool has to offer. Okay, watch this video, Master the Pen Tool in 30 minutes. Just click and drag over there. So the lip starts over here. Click and drag over there. And the next line is gonna be determined by this handle. So it's gonna have a curve. So if I just click and drag over here, see it has a curve just due to this handle. And click and drag. Don't worry so, so much about the perfect shape right now. We're gonna edit that later. Click and drag over there, click and drag. Similarly finish the whole lip. Okay, that doesn't look perfect, but we're gonna take care of that. Now let's zoom in, hold the control or command, click on this one and let's correct this one first. Let's start with this one. Okay, mm, that's pretty good. Let's come to this one. Hold the controller command, click on this, and just correct this to the point that you like. That looks pretty good. And if you want to move it, you can move that as well by holding down the control or command. If you want to break any handle, so this is straight handle, right? If you want to break any handle like that, you can also do that by holding the Alt or Option and clicking and dragging if you want to break it as well. So. We're gonna break it over there. And don't worry so much, so much about the corners right now because we will apply feather over there. Like this, that looks good. Similarly in this one, let's break it. If you have broken it over here, you have to break it on the other side as well. Like that. Move it perfectly. And this time I ho I'm holding the control or command. If you wanna break this, we might have to break it. I don't think we need to break it. I'm holding the controller command. And if you want to delete a point, I think this is an extra point. What you can do, you can just click on it. With the pen tool selected, just click on it and it will delete it. If you want to delete this as well, just click on it. So just one point over there, you can move it to the middle and modify it the way you like like so and this side as well like so if this is too much we'll just take care of that like this and modify it the way you like it but i guess we should have two points right it does look a little strange over there so we should shouldn't have deleted that one let's go back and let's bring that point back over there so two points are pretty good And you can take as much time as you want in getting these perfectly right. But I'm gonna do it quickly. Now let's zoom out and have a look at the shape. Shape looks perfectly fine. It needs a little bit adjustment over there and it's fine. Once you're satisfied, that's fine. And have a look, this is saved inside of path. And if you wanna save this path, if you don't wanna let go of it, let's just name it, just, just rename it as lip. We will need this later. Now, just right click and choose make selection. You can choose the feather radius right now, but we're gonna apply that later. I'll tell you why. Hit OK, keep it zero, hit OK. Now this makes a selection, but this selection is very harsh. You can of course apply feather by going to select, 
modify and then feather and then guess the value instead of doing that instead of guessing the value here's what i would suggest cancel it press q okay q for qwerty q this gets you in to the quick mask mode okay quick mask mode and right now as you can see the selection is very harsh so to blur out the selection to add feather to it simply go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and apply the blur as much as you like so as you can see it's very harsh over there let's apply blur just a little bit just look at the transition of the lip and accordingly apply the blur so for this one i guess we can apply somewhere around 4.9 or 5 pixel blur hit ok once you're satisfied then press q again this gets you into normal mode and have a look the feather has been applied this is much better way of applying feather because you can actually see the amount over there all right create a new layer in this new layer what you need to do we need to paint out the outside and clear out these extra reds and these extra mess over there so we just want to paint outside the lip but the selection is inside the lip so you want to invert the selection how to invert the selection press Control shift i command shift i in a mac zoom out you're not able to see what's actually happening if i press Control shift i have a look the selection is now inverted okay then zoom in and select the clone stamp tool okay and then make sure sample all layers is checked blend mode is normal opacity and flow at 100 zoom in and just sample this area and paint over there that way we are clearing it if you want to get this out of the way these marching ants it's distracting you you can always go ahead and press ctrl or command h h i don't know how to pronounce that but hat okay h for hat it's still there, but it's hidden, okay? So you can take a sample from over there and paint these areas properly. It's still there, but it's hidden. If it doesn't look real now, we can take care of that later. But just now, right now, just to paint on the outside and get this clear. Clear the extra mess. So simply take a sample by holding the Alt or Option, click on it and just paint on that particular area. Take a sample, hold the Alt or Option from nearby area and paint. We need to clean up this mess, so be very careful over there. Let's bring that back in by pressing Control or Command H. All right. You've got it back. Make sure every area is painted. Nothing is left. That's pretty good. You have taken care of that. Now, let's do the opposite. Create another layer and invert the selection again. Control Shift I, Command Shift I. And this time the selection is inside the lip as it was before. And now you can paint inside out so you can take a sample from inside of the lip and paint it outside like that okay just like this right here we don't want the corner of the mouth over there so we'll sample from this area we don't want the corner over there okay probably we do just a little bit Make sure you don't take away the shine. The shine stays. There you go. Hold the control or command and H. And have a look at this. It looks perfectly fine. If any changes were needed, you could have just painted. Hold control or command H again. That's perfectly fine. Now control or command D to take, get rid of those marching ants. Now have a look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after now as you can see this is of course so much looks a little unrealistic so what you can do make a group of both of them by holding the control or command select the other one control or command g you can decrease the opacity of this one like so or what you can also do you can just mask in separate areas first of all let's decrease the opacity slowly and gradually so that looks good 
okay that looks nice 54 55 that's nice what you can also do you can create a mask and then bring back in particular areas like the corners of the mouth take the brush paint in black just decrease the flow to somewhere around 10 percent and just paint in this area you want these areas back you want a little bit of natural over there if you did a little extra you can always press x to bring the white again and just paint in the so similarly in here and paint in black and there you go this brings a little bit of more naturality to this and that's all you need to know so without the mask with the mask so just a little bit more natural thing over there and just also beneath this it looks a little strange so we will paint in black over here just a little bit without the mask with the mask just a little more natural thing over there and just paint in white we did a little extra side it okay that looks fantastic if you have a look at the mask by holding the alt or option click on the mask to have a look see we have brought back certain areas alt or option hold that again click on the mask and there you have it lip retouching before after and you can also name this as shape so we took care of the shape. Now let's take care of the color. So how do we take care of the color? So first of all, have a look. Around the lips, these red things are kind of distracting and we need to remove that. How do we remove that? You can remove that using the hue saturation adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose hue saturation. Then we need to target those reds. Click on this hand icon and just click on it once. Take the hue all the way to the right. To see which areas are we targeting, increase the saturation a bit to see exactly where we are targeting. Make it narrow and move it from the middle to see which areas we are affecting. See this particular area? Make it broader to increase the target even more. Use the outside sliders to add feather to the target. And that's pretty much it. And then bring back to normal bring these back to normal and then let's move it to the left if we move it to the left it's increasing if we move the hue to the right wow it just goes away have a look here don't look on the lips have a look here decrease the opacity uh, the saturation and gone before after see the reds it's gone before after but it's a little yellowish okay that's better now we need to paint out the lips can take the brush and do that but we already have the lip selection over there right don't we so go to the parts we already have that and that's why we saved it and that's why we named it hold the control or command click on this we have the selection ready over there of course we need to add some feather to it so if we paint this area with black inside of the mask that area will not be affected just make sure the foreground color is black by pressing x and press alt backspace option delete if you're using a mac and that area fills with black inside of that mask and that is taken care of but right now as you can see the mask is very sharp so how do we add blur to that select the mask make sure the properties are open if you cannot see that go to windows and then properties and increase the feather from there you can choose the same value which was five and that is taken care of so without the mask with the mask so lip is barred from that particular effect have a look before after we remove the red now if you want the reds to be there on the nose and other areas of the photo you might have to paint those areas in black inside of the mask so have a look before after we just wanted to remove the reds from this particular area not all the areas right so just paint that area with black all the other areas increase the flow to 100 and just simply paint over all of those cheek you don't want to take away the reds from the cheek it's looking kind of pretty like that we just made an outline then hold the alt or option click on this and just simply paint completely over you can also fill it do whatever you want i'm just going to paint that quickly hard brush painted like that and that's done that's pretty much taken care of okay hold the alt or option again and there you have it you have removed the reds from this area around the lips before after see the red is taken care of now we have done a little bit of coloring we have also taken care of the shape now let's take care of the coloring of the lips 
Now, we are not adding lipstick. That's a completely different tutorial. And that will be uploaded or is already uploaded depending upon when I edit this video. You can check it out right there. If it's uploaded, I'll put up, put up a link over there, but it's there, okay? That's a different tutorial. Right now, we'll take care of the natural color of the lips. See? So create one more hue saturation adjustment layer and target the lips. How to target the lips? Click on the hand icon, click once over there, and you know the whole process. Make it narrower. Okay, and increase the hue all the way to 180, increase the saturation and move it so that most of the lips is targeted like that. Expand it, expand it, make it a little softer like that, make it a little softer to the right. No, we don't have to go that further, like so, and control it like that. And that's pretty much done. We have targeted the lips. Make sure we are not targeting this skin. But we do always have a mask. Don't worry about it so much. We can go a little further like that. Okay. Now, bring everything back to normal. Zero, zero over there. And then you can change the color to whatever you like. So we are not changing the color. We are just affecting it a bit. So we can make it a little more yellowish. And increase the saturation of this one a bit add some color to it if you want to darken it you can do that as well by darkening it but if you darken it it takes away the saturation always keep in mind so if you take it to the left if you take the lightness to the left you might have to take the saturation to the right like so and make sure to make it natural so there you have it before after see but it's affecting these areas as well and we don't want that to happen listen we already have a mask right go to the parts Hold the control key or the command key if you're using a Mac, click on it and bring it back in. Select this one. And this time, we need to paint everything else in black. So invert the selection or what you can also do, paint the selection in black. Alt backspace, option delete if you're using a Mac. This is the opposite. If you select the mask, this is the complete opposite of what we want. Then you can press control or command I to just simply invert it. Hold the alter option, click on it again, and you can just feather it to five pixels. And that's done. Before, after. So we have taken care of the color. So are we done? Remember the three elements. What were those? Shaping, coloring, and dodging and burning. So dodging and burning is still remaining. But I want you to keep in mind something, and this is important. Not all the image require all of those elements. In some images, and you will find images like that, where the shape is perfectly fine. The color is perfectly fine. All you need to do is just dodging and burning. In some images, you just need to improve the color and that's pretty much it. And there will be images like that where everything is perfect. The color is perfect, the shape is perfect, dodging and burning, everything is A class. And you need to be aware of the fact that you don't need to do anything over there. If you do something in a perfect image, it can be counterproductive. Okay, and it was very difficult to find an image like this where everything was out of place. So, not all images require all of those three elements. Keep that in mind. Now, you can name these two coloring. You can group them by holding the control or command. Click on the other one, control or command G, shape. You can name this color. And now it's time for dodging and burning. Now, there are tons of ways to dodge and burn. And when I say tons of ways, I do really mean that. But one of my favorite ways is using curves. So let's just do that. And if you want to go ahead and check out other videos on dodging and burning, check these videos out. I'm, I'm going to link everything inside the description over there. Check the description. So create two curves adjustment layers. Click on curves and take it all up. Okay. This is for the bright areas and let's name it dodge. And just as a quick recap, dodging is brightening, burning is darkening. Why do we dodge and burn? To add dimension to our image. So anything which is protruding in the direction of light has to be brightened. Anything which is away from the direction of light has to be darkened. So it's applying all over the image. So select the mask, control or command I, and then take the brush. Decrease the flow to, I would say two or three percent, whatever is your choice, and just brighten up the top areas of the lip, these areas, like so. Whoops, it's doing nothing because we are painting with black. Make sure you're painting with white. We want to make it appear. So 
the whole goal right now is that brightening up this particular area let me just go ahead and increase the flow so that you can see we have to brighten up this particular area if you can add a shine you can also add a shine over there and then you have to add a shine over here right so these are the areas protruding in the direction of light have a look at my mouth that don't look at don't look it's not good but get the idea this area is protruding it's up it's protruding in the direction of light this area has to have a shine to make it more protruding and this also has to shine so these areas have to be brightened what area has to be darkened probably this area a little bit just a little bit and this area to add that bump to make the lips stand out okay this area has to be darkened this area has to be darkened and these areas this area and this area has to be brightened so let's go back I didn't mean to just destroy the image just simply decrease the flow by the way to two or three percent two percent and and make sure it looks natural we cannot add a shine or a highlight anywhere even when there is no light so for example you cannot add a shine here there is no light over there just it, it will look unnatural right so you can add shine only over here probably a little bit over there where there's already some light so make sure there's already some light just a little bit see if we go too much it starts to look unnatural so make sure it looks natural it's smooth everything is nice and it looks good a little bit over there this one a little bit just a little bit brighten up so have a look before after before after right it adds a kind of bump over there a little bit shine make sure it's soft it doesn't look unnatural if this area is dark leave it dark okay that's done now let's add a shine over there just a soft shine it's already shining so you don't have to do much okay now have a look at the before and after so this is the after and this is the before after before after before I think we went overboard over here so let's paint this area in black we didn't want so much of brightness that's pretty normal before after now let's add one more curves adjustment layer and this time take it down click in the middle take it down like that control or command I by selecting the mask and let's name it burn burning is darkening because when you burn something it darkens all right so let's zoom in and simply just darken this particular area take the brush make sure the foreground color is white select the mask first of all and then simply paint in this particular area and darken it the skin needs a little bit of retouching we have not done anything to the skin it looks strange I know I get it but that's all we want to do over here let's have a look at the mask this pretty much looks a little okay hold the alter option it looks too much so what you can also do you can blur it out select the mask you can just blur it out a bit it looks too much it's something like this let's see 20 hold the alter option click on in here and look before after looks pretty good decrease the opacity and zoom out always zoom out to have the final look so this is before this is after that looks pretty good let's increase the opacity a little bit probably to 80 and let's make a group of both of them by holding the controller command clicking on the other one control or command G and let's name it dodge and burn have a look before after the lifts really look good now if it's too much look at the dodge it's too much decrease the opacity this one have a look before after and that's pretty much done let me show you the final result this is the before and this is the after so that's how we touch lips in Photoshop just keep the three elements in mind what are those shaping coloring and dodging and burning and always also keep in mind that not all images require all those three elements some require just one some two and some none and you need to be aware of that so for shaping you can just make a selection of the lip using the pen tool and you can save that path by renaming it and then you can just feather it out and using the clone stamp tool, paint inside out and outside in 
for coloring you can use the hue saturation adjustment layer and target specific colors and you can use the mask to just limit those correction inside the lip or outside the lip and after that for dodging and burning always remember brighten this up brighten this up and darken this and that's all you need to know i hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating